Hello, folks. Welcome to That's Debatable, powered by Cisco WebEx with no live golf. On your TVs, we're bringing you some live golf debates on your computer screens. We've got a bracket of debaters at golf.com, and I am going to decide who moves on. I am your referee. Whoever wins, whoever convinces me of their side of the debate, please let me know if you disagree with me. Up first, something for the movie buffs. We have Alan Shipnuck, the one seed who has never made a hole in one, and a 16 seed, James Colgan, who still looks like he's 16. Alan, we'll let you go first. The debate is Caddyshack versus Tin Cup. Will you defer or do you want first right at the argument? Oh, no, I'll just land the knockout blow right away. Tin Cup is definitely the greatest golf movie ever made. First of all, it's funny, unlike Caddyshack, which is like stale beer. Um, it's, it's, it's got some good romance. You know, let, let's be honest. Lacey Underall, totally overrated. But Renee Russo, that's a real woman. Um, the tour player cameos definitely elevate the whole thing. I mean, anytime you have a joke involving, you know, a chili pepper and uh, Lee Jansen's uh, backside, how can you not love that? Um, and it's smart. It's clever. The writing is fantastic. Ron Shelton, the director, is a legend. And he brings a, sort of right. realism and a grittiness to the whole thing. And it has the ring of truth, uh, unlike Caddyshack, which is sort of a character and is kind of empty and boring and more flexible. All right. Your 60 seconds are up. The truism of Tin Cup stands out for me, James, but not for you. No, it does not. And the reason why is because in my career in golf, my first job was a caddy. I'm throwing on my bib, and I'm getting up to bat for Caddyshack here. All right, we got three reasons why Caddyshack is the best golf movie of all time. The first, intersectionality. This is a movie that appeals to audiences of all ages, of all types. If you love golf, you love this movie, there's not a doubt about it. The second is relevancy. These jokes still land today. The best round of his life for the priest when you've got Judge Smales, really any, any of the jokes that go throughout the entire movie, they land with the audience that come down. And the third reason, universality. Golf is not just a game for these people. It's not just a job for anyone. It's a way of life. It's a passion. And this is why Caddyshack really lands in, in sort of that, that ethos of golf that, that doesn't really exist anywhere else. And that's why it's a better movie than Tin Cup. And that's why it's the best golf movie of all time. Caddyshack was made 16 years prior to Tin Cup, Alan Shimnuck, should we be considering that? I, I don't even know what Colgan just said. I mean, are we, are we like in some PhD film school? That was total nonsense. He made all that stuff up. Um, I mean, listen, Caddyshack, it's okay if you're 12 years old, or maybe if you're 80, but for anyone who's kind of a high functioning adult, it just doesn't really work anymore. It's just stale. Wow. And you know, the ground, the gopher looks fake. Like, I just can't get with it. Um, and then, you know, Chevy Chase's swing isn't that good. There's a lot of problems. It just doesn't hold up. I'm sorry. Compared to Kevin Costner's swing. James, are you a high-functioning adult? Uh, a high-functioning adult, maybe not. But if we're being honest here, first of all, Kevin Costner of draft day fame, are we really saying that he's, he's the real star actor that's going to carry them over Caddy Fack? But regardless of that, if we're looking at this from just a pure plot standpoint, the plot of Tin Cup is almost entirely unintelligible. Is it a movie about a guy chasing after a girl? Is it a movie about a guy chasing after a U.S. Open? Either oh. way, it doesn't really seem like he's all that successful at either. So I'm not really sure I understand where this comes from either way. Honestly, I think James had the lead, but I think he just gave it up. I feel like the plot of Tin Cup, it tracks the entire way. It's a great rom-com. Alan Shipnuck didn't necessarily point that out exactly but james i think you just undid yourself i think alan shipnuck is going to move on uh well you know sometimes you got bird to the 18th hole james and you just <laughs> and sometimes you three putt from six feet i'm sorry but it was good effort it was you know you're right there till the bitter end it's all right there will always be the career and uh in caddy for me <laughs> All right, Alan Shipnuck, our man in California, the one seed with a comeback there against James Colgan. Thanks for watching. That's Debatable, powered by WebEx. Stay tuned to golf.com for more.